On this episode, we're gonna make low carb peanut butter cookies. Coming up next. Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Countess of Low Carb. Here's my low carb cookies. They are so delicious and I'm gonna show you how I made them. But first, if you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe. I love this recipe. It is not my own. I do not take credit for it. I will put the direct link of where I got this recipe and I'm most grateful, but it is not my, it is not my creation. I'm also going to put it down below my um, countessoflowcarb.com blog and I have a blog post with this too. In case you don't feel like watching the full video, you can see down below the written instructions also with photos too. And if you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe. So let's dive in. This is so simple. I have lost 50 pounds through the keto diet and through intermittent fasting with another 50 pounds to go. And this is a new recipe because I wanted something sweet. I wanted something to give my two year old little boy, um, but I didn't want to give real, real stuff. I wanted to incorporate low carb food with it. So first ingredient, peanut butter. This double check your peanut butter ingredients to make sure there's not palm oil in it. I got this on one of my Aldi hauls. If you want to see my Aldi hauls, click up here. Um, and my other videos, but this is just regular organic peanut butter. And then when I go to the ingredients, it just contains organic peanuts and sea salt. Literally, you can make your own on this. There's other videos on YouTube. I haven't made it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time, but you could make your own peanut butter, literally just grinding peanuts in a blender um, with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of sea salt. But this is literally just organic peanuts and sea salt. Those are the only ingredients in it. The second ingredient that I used is my swerve sugar. I can never say this word right, urethral. That's not right. That's a human function. Urethral, urethral, urethral. Um, it's, the, it's basically swerve is what I use. I love swerve. There's other, certainly there's other generic brands you could use, but I like swerve. Super, super simple. So it's a cup of the peanut butter. It's a half a cup of the swerve and I'll put down um, if you I just order mine off Amazon if you want to order it off Amazon it'll be in the blog post below um, and then literally just one egg one egg that's it so simple crack the egg mix it all together um, and what I did is I just literally put it in my hold on one second I literally just put it in my mixer see I've already cleaned off my ingredients then I used a scooper to scoop these out and I got nine cookies. You probably could have gotten, um, you probably could have gotten more cookies with them, but I used the full scoop on them. I set my oven for 350. Um, now it's like, I set my oven for 350, cooked these for 15 minutes. The, the recipe calls for 10 to 15 minutes. I cooked mine on 15. They probably could have gone a little bit longer. Um, and these are definitely crumbly. Like they're not a, um, moist for people who like that word. It's not a moist cookie, it's more of a dry cookie. And then I scooped them out and then I literally smushed with my fork to make the fork lines. I didn't do it sideways because it, the batter was sticking directly to the cookie. Put these on here, put on parchment paper, which I'll also put in the description link below. You do not want to use wax paper. Wax paper is different than parchment paper uh, from personal experience. So I cooked these for 15 minutes, took them out and voila, here they are. I'm gonna let these cool. So I'm gonna let my cookies cool. Um, and I probably will eat maybe one, maybe two. They are two net carbs per cookie. So if I have two, that's four net carbs. I don't know if I want to use that many net carbs. I definitely will be freezing some of these as well. And then that way I can just take them out, pop them in the microwave, eat them, super simple. Um, but it's a really easy recipe that's fun. I got this recipe, um, not it's not my own creation. I do not take ownership of this, but um, keto, um, but keto butter buddies or keto buddy butters i miss i'll put that also in the link below group had recommended this for this awesome recipe which it's not her creation either it was a referral but um they're really really good i haven't i had a little little morsel to see what they tasted like it was delicious i do even think next time i will um chop up some peanuts and add some peanuts to go on top now peanuts are not the lowest in carb and i have a nut video i'll pop that up there Peanuts are not the best for low carb diet, macadamia nuts, those are my go-to, but these are somewhat expensive, but you could feasibly put macadamia nuts, sliver them up or grind them up to put little crumbles on top too, excuse me, before you bake them. So a couple of options, I'm super stoked, this was easy. Like mixing it all together took me maybe five to seven minutes, baking them took 15 minutes, so in 22 minutes, 
I have this, like, and letting them cool for a little bit. So in 30 minutes, you could have a sweet treat. Um, but again, two net carbs per um, cookie. So be mindful of that. Um, anyways, if you like this video, click like, click subscribe, check out the blog below, and check out my daily blog on countofloucarb.com, a daily blog update, if not one, multiple ones uh, every day. See y'all soon. Bye. One more editor's note to add in here. Do not have cookies if you're just starting the keto diet because you need to allow your time to get in ketosis, flush out, flush out the sugars and things out of your system. This is for something if you're further down, down the road. I would encourage just kind of detoxing completely from sugar. While this does have keto sugar, this word, you still don't want to have a lot of that in your body and you want to have limited quantities and be mindful of creepy carbs. Not that these have carbs, like they are two net carbs per cookie, but still. If you're new, hold off on having sweets or some of these recipes until later on, later on down the journey for you.